When Florida needed jobs, it worked with local companies to hire people. Companies like Heavy G's Entertainment in Kissimmee. Gotta get this money, baby. See, that's all I know. The company, which promoted this hip-hop artist, qualified for more than $17,000 in stimulus money. State managers approved it, even though the same company owes nearly $2,000 in back taxes. Jimmy Mendez runs a tax-paying auto shop nearby. You try to make an honest living, you know, pay your dues, and then there's people just getting away with murder. We found companies across Central Florida that qualified for your tax dollars through the Florida Back to Work program, even though they hadn't paid their taxes. Ask any bank for a small business loan and they'll immediately check tax returns and online records to ensure that the business is active and registered before you get a dime. But it seems the government may not have checked all of its own records before handing out this cash. Of some 80 local companies approved for $13.5 in funds, at least six were currently behind on federal or state taxes or had been in the past. We discovered six with expired or inactive business licenses and others that have since dissolved, like Velocity Films. It listed this overgrown property in Orlando as its headquarters and was approved for more than $19,000. Have you seen any activity? Um, no. Film crews? No. We showed our findings to State Senator David Simmons. It certainly warrants a, a very, very uh, extensive investigation. Workforce Central Florida says Heavy G's was approved but never paid because it did not submit employee timesheets. We could not reach Heavy G's CEO, Alan Castro. He was arrested on federal drug charges and his home-based company closed in September.